Hi, I'm Kelsey Cook with NetApp SolidFire here for another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. I've got Hal here. Hal, can you introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Hal Rotenberg. I'm with Splunk, and uh, I'm a DevOps specialist. I think that's the title that I ended up with, so that, that's, that'll work well enough. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Um, so talk to me about containers and storage. Okay. So I don't know why you asked me that, because I don't know a whole lot about containers and storage. Why would you do that to me? I'm an evil genius. What? Okay, so I, I know a little bit about containers and storage. Not, not as much as you guys, but um, the, the, the angle that I would like to, to, to come from is that, that storage and containers, it's, it's, a, it's a new problem because containers are ephemeral. So you have to persist these containers and you don't want them to be moving you know, gigabytes and terabytes of data around as the containers are spawned in different places. So clearly, if you have a container that, that requires a large volume of data on the back end, like a database or something, then um, you've got to use a shared storage mechanism. Uh, so I know you guys at SolidFire do some stuff like that. And I was watching the demo earlier, and that's kind of what made me want to come over here and talk to you about this was, I'm, what you're doing is running Splunk inside of a container and connecting to SolidFire on the back end. I thought that was pretty cool because my first impression when, when people were exploring the idea of running Splunk in a container was, ooh, performance, you know, and, and hey, we've got terabytes of, of log data, you know, in, in the index. I don't know that that's a great fit. So, you know, as the contain as the storage story for Docker was evolving, and you know, they added features, and then of course the uh, you know the industry is responding to build up solutions around that. Now it's starting to look like something that, that customers would actually do in production. So I'm I'm super hyped about seeing how this matures. But um, just briefly, I'll tell you about the the demo that that I was just showing. It just kind of blew me away. Was it? Um, using Mesosphere to uh, instantiate containers and uh, but, but you at the command line you go docker uh, volume create and you pass a handful of command line options and you can basically using this plugin that SolidFire made create that volume apply some quality of service setting to it so you would have a high quality service setting for your uh, your index so the Splunk has a has the index what we call the databases so high quality service setting for that guy and then a low one for the configuration files because it doesn't matter about this, those and then you spin that container up, and uh, you, Mesosphere will kind of you know, watch it, and you can you tell it, you know, I, I want one Splunk index or you know, or, or whatever that number is. And during in the demo, kill the container, Mesosphere spins up a new one, attaches that same volume that was at, you know uh, attached at the first place, no loss of service. There's probably I didn't test it, but you know, you might be down for a couple seconds. So just the ability to. You, know, so you still have all the benefits of, of uh, containers and, and having these things you know, um, spin up instantly and, and having kind of an agile environment where you get to define the infrastructure in the code, you know, define, you know, say Docker create this volume, uh, you know, Docker run this Splunk image, and then have that be just perfect, slick. It was, it was awesome. So That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it unfolds. Um, so how many Docker cons have you been to? This is my first Docker con. Big, big, exciting stuff. Mine as well. Uh, what are your observations from this first event so far? They're busy. They have like four thousand people, man. Yeah. It's it's pretty huge. Um, the the booth has been super busy. The the keynote. I watched half of it earlier. Um, they're 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 running. They're moving quickly. So yes. Zero to you know full speed ahead. Yes. DockerCon so hot right now. Would you like to Would you like to I, bump? I would love to bump. Okay, let's okay, exchange. Let's yes. Woo! We did it. <laughs> Thank you, Hal. You're welcome.